What if I told you, you could dramatically reduce your recovery time, increase your maximal strength, and even specify and train specific muscle fiber types, all while sitting on your couch? Well, normally you'd be right, but that's not the case with this little device. What's up, superhumans? My name is BT. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I like to create content that's gonna help you move, feel, and perform better, both mentally and physically. And today we are gonna talk about this little device right here. Before we talk about this product, I do wanna clear the air a little bit. This is not something I went out and bought a week or two ago and suddenly became an expert on. Now, actually back in 2011, when I first moved to California, my then trainer, Rick Stasi, introduced me to Compex. And I've been using it and swearing by it ever since. It actually helped me set a Guinness World Record. So even though I would not consider myself an expert, I do probably have more experience than most with this product. Now, this powerful technology is called Neuromuscular Electronic Stimulation, or NMES. It isn't new. The technology, NMES, is not new. And you've actually probably seen ads for products with NMES, and you just didn't even realize it. The revolutionary Go Anywhere Do Anything ab sculpting system that's getting mind-blowing results. That's right, those ridiculous ab belts that you're being sold at and 3 a.m. and those foot massagers that they are selling to you at the kiosks in your local mall, they all have NMES. So here's the quick and dirty of how this works. Oh, that pad is not very sticky. Essentially, this sends a signal through the lead, which is this wire, down to these electrodes that are connected to the skin. The signal from here innervates or connects with the motor neurons or nerves and fires the muscle. It's the same thing that your brain is doing with the central nervous system. This just acts like a second brain. And as you'll see later, a genetic override. Now, before you can fully appreciate what this little device can do and the potential it has, it's, I, I feel it's very important that you have a basic understanding of how muscles function to begin with. All right, so this is a, Awful chair. This is a horribly oversimplified drawing of some basic, basic muscle uh, function. Muscles, your muscle belly is not just made up of one big muscle. They're made up of a bunch of these tubes. I'm not gonna get into like endomecium, paramecium, all that stuff, that's for a, a different channel. If you want really excellent, in-depth explanation of this stuff, check out Dr. Andy Galpin's uh, Instagram page and all of his stuff, because he's brilliant. The main point is that I don't want you to think of muscle belly as just one big chunk of muscle. It's made up of many different parts. And in the muscle, we've got these tubes. And these tubes are also made up of a whole bunch of other tubes. And these super small tubes are uh, muscle fibers. And depending on the muscle, they can be, like that muscle can be made up of thousands and thousands of these muscle fibers. And we've got a big group of muscle fiber that is attached to your little motor neuron or motor nerve. And this motor nerve, like I said, is connected to a bunch of muscle fiber. 
Now, when you send a signal to, let's say, pick up this marker, the amount of muscle fiber you fire is different than, let's say, me picking up a 50 pound dumbbell. Whenever my muscle f fires, it's not firing 100% of the muscle at, let's say, 20% to pick up that marker. Instead, it is 20% of the muscle fires at 100%. If the signal isn't strong enough, if the demand isn't strong enough, a large portion of these muscle fibers are not going to fire. They either fire at 100% or 0% and that's it. It's called the all or nothing principle. You can't read that because it's perpendicular to you. So how is this relevant to you? Again, to put in context, if you've ever done a max lift, you know that it is extremely tiring. And if it's a true one rep max, you're only doing one rep. And then you would have to wait an extremely long time before you could get another rep out. If you could get another rep out. Your ability to push yourself during a workout is limited by the joint load, the stress on the joints, your ATP production, you know, your recovery times. And the harder that you can push that limit is going to determine the size and the strength gains that you make. But what if there was no joint load? What if you could do a max rep and then another and another and another without waiting, all without actually having to lift anything? Well, that's where the NMES comes in. Remember I said it acts as a second brain. This thing forces that type of contraction and it can do it many, many, many times in one single session. You could do weeks worth of workouts essentially, if we're talking about pure volume, in one 40 minute session. Now there are two main categories of muscle fibers and I'm sure you've heard of them. Uh, we call them type one or type two or more commonly known as slow twitch and fast twitch. Type one and type two both have a certain set of characteristics. Type one has more capillaries, more mitochondria, which are kind of like the engines of the cell. And this makes the muscle extremely resistant to fatigue. And type two is quite the opposite. It has less mitochondria, less uh, capillaries, gets less blood flow. So it fatigues extremely quick, but they are essential for producing power and force. Time for another drawing. When firing these muscles, they're always fired in order and they always start with slow and go too fast. Another very basic drawing, okay? They start firing, oops, at slow, and then they go to fast. And what I mean by that is just like the amount of muscle fiber fired is dependent on the activity, the demand, so is the type of fiber fired. So as you work out and you're doing something that's pretty easy and you could do for a long time, you're firing your slow twitch muscle fibers. And as the demand gets higher and higher and the intensity gets higher and higher, then we overload these fiber types and we start firing the faster fiber types. Now, with this device, you can override that. You can simply select which fiber type you want to work more of and fire it. Muscles work on frequencies and this sends a frequency specific to that fiber type. So if you're starting to catch my drift here, if you're starting to connect the dots of what I'm trying to say is this becomes a genetic override. This allows you to do far more than you could possibly do voluntarily. But there are a couple of other really cool things that this can do. This also speeds up recovery. I was talking about frequencies. This uses a frequency that's low enough that it doesn't contract the muscle, but it will simply bounce blood back and forth between the two electrodes. What does this do? It helps eliminate waste products and reduce inflammation, uh, specifically lactic acid, much faster than you could on your own. Finally, the newest NMES devices, this is by a brand named Compex, they include TENS. TENS stands for Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation. And how TENS works is it floods the nervous system with these electrical impulses. And this flooding basically reduces the nervous system's ability to transmit those, those pain signals to the spinal cord in the brain. But what it also does is these 
electrical impulses increase your endorphins and our and our endorphins are like natural pain relievers. <sighs> now before you go out and buy a Compex, we've talked about all the cool things that it can do. I want to give you some of the limitations of the product and some of the things you should be aware of so you're not seriously injured or seriously disappointed. You could just sit on a couch and train and I have done that before but there is so much more that goes into effective training than just stimulating and contracting muscle. Coordination plays a huge role in strength. It's obviously essential for developing functional movement. That's something you can't develop by sitting on a couch. So for those of you thinking that this, like those ab belts, was a magic belt, it's not the case. Think of the signals that are being sent out of this like a blast from a sawed off shotgun. It's too spread. Right? We need to focus it. We need it to be like a little laser. And how do we do that? We use it while we train. Also, real training strengthens up connective tissues like tendons and ligaments. These are things that don't get the blood supply that muscle does. So if we have a rapid increase in muscle size and strength, but we aren't building up the size and strength of our connective tissues, that's when injuries occur. All right, here's something you're maybe not thinking of and you can't really understand until you use one. This thing causes an involuntary contraction. And depending on how high I turn this up, that contraction can be pretty extreme. When I say extreme, I mean straight up painful. It's painful. All right, so here's the last thing to consider uh, that I can think of right now. And again, you probably won't be able to understand this until you've used it. But think of the absolute sorest you've ever been because of a workout. We're talking serious doms where you can barely manage walking. So think of that time and then times that by a hundred. Remember how I said this can do your maximum capacity type of workout and it can do it at a far greater volume that you could ever do voluntarily and it does it in a very short time frame. What do you think your muscles are going to experience? What do you think your nervous system is going to experience with that? And I can tell you from personal experience that it is unlike anything I have ever felt before. I got so sore that I got super swollen and very sick from it. I had to take like a week off of work when I first started training with this. It was freaking awful. So, <laughs> if you can ease into it and you can train with it responsibly, it is worth its weight in gold and I think what it can help you achieve and the potential it has is incredible. Now, before you go out and get one of these because I know you want one and I would definitely tell you to get one. You know me, I do not recommend stuff unless I use it myself and it works and I've been using this for what is that, eight years now? Nine years? Nine years? Don't go get one quite yet because I am doing a thorough review of the Compex and the Power Dot. These are competitors. They compete against each other. These are definitely the two best units on the market. And I'm going to be doing a thorough review and comparison. And I will let you which uh, I will let you know which one you should spend your hard-earned money on. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I can't tell you how important it is. Please hit that like button. It goes such a long way, not only with the YouTube algorithm, but it lets me know what kind of content you want to see more of. And if you could, please hit the subscribe button. It goes a long way in helping the channel grow. And the more channel growth we have, well, the better and better content I can produce for you. Lastly, if you want to be notified as to when I release new content, please just hit that little notification bell down below. Thanks again for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.